Hello, my name is Mark McLafferty. I own a financial planning practice called Absolute Conclusions. I'm one of the preferred partners here with Central Jersey Insurance. They asked me to step in and do a brief overview of the SECURE Act, which took effect on January 1st, 2020 of this year. It impacts in a number of ways IRAs, individual retirement accounts, and 401k plans. We'll start with the IRAs. So the main difference that everybody's talking about is the increase in the required minimum distribution age. It used to be 70 and a half. It has been moved under this plan to 72. If you're currently taking an RMD, keep doing so. This only affects individuals that are eligible from 2020 on. Uh, and then moving over into the 401k world, that rule applies as well. But if you're still an active employee, no equity ownership in the business, and you reach 72, you do not have to start taking your RMD until you separate service. If you're an owner in that business and you're still actively participating and you reach 72, you do have to take your RMD. So business owners, be mindful of that. The other thing that's catching a lot of attention is around what used to be known as stretch IRAs, where if I inherit as a non-spouse an IRA from somebody that passed away, I'm able to then use my age to calculate the RMDs, the required minimum distributions. That rule is gone with this act. So basically, if a non-spouse inherits IRA-style money, they have to clean that account out within 10 years of inheriting it. So there's definitely a number of rules that we're used to that are changing, some for the better, some that you, you, you have to pay attention to. So I'll definitely leave my, I'll leave my contact information at the bottom of the screen. And if anybody needs clarification on anything I just spoke about, please feel free to reach out. Thank you.